Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Sherry Lynn, for those of you who haven't been here before. Uh, you may notice that I'm actually wearing like a face, like makeup today, and that's super exciting because I've just got new makeup. So I've done a quick video on Influencer before and this is just gonna be a quick intro, but it's this really cool platform where based on your social media following, they send you free stuff to review. And literally all you have to do is review it. Sometimes they ask you to do like an Instagram post and you get tons of free stuff and it's super cool. So most recently I got a box of Laura Mercier, Mercier, I don't know, makeup products. It's a super nice brand and I really love everything. So that's kind of what this face is brought to you by today. But I got, hello Shakespeare, that's my dog. Please ignore him. But I got some blush, which looks like this. How do the makeup people do it? I don't think I'm doing it right. Good enough, you get the idea. This is this pretty color on my face. And then kind of like similar color scheme, we have this lipstick. How do I do this? Lipstick. Okay, this is not working, you get the picture. And finally, also a lip liner, which is super exciting. This is the color, let's see, baby lips. And I've actually never owned a lip liner before because I'm not a real girl. So that's super exciting and I really like the way that my face is looking. So thank you to Influencer for that. I would highly recommend getting an account if you don't already have one. It's just super easy and really nice way to get free stuff. It's always exciting when I get boxes in the mail, especially when I'm not expecting them. So thank you Influencer. Awesome products. I love everything, like five out of five stars. And with that, let's get into the actual video. So the actual video topic today is the fact that I leave for Hawaii in less than a month. And I am so excited, but that has definitely fed my shopping addiction. And so I've been getting some new bikinis and cute outfits and accessories that I want to bring with me on this trip. And one thing I'd never tried before was, you know, those really cheap, like, Japanese, Chinese bikini websites where everything's like six to ten dollars. And I've always been curious about them, but skeptical. And then when I went to look for new bikinis and everything was like 40 to $100 for a set, I was like, I'm gonna try it. I might get scammed, but it's all right. So I ordered from Shein, S-H-E-I-N, I think that's how it's pronounced. And I bought two bikinis, and then I also bought two from Amazon. Both were under $15. So I will leave the links in the description and tell you guys a little bit about them. But believe it or not, I'm actually a huge fan of all four. So I wanna show you guys what those look like and do a little bikini haul, review, Hawaii haul. I don't know what I'll call this, we'll see. You'll know by now. Um, so without further ado, let me show you what I got and tell you guys a little about each one. So we will start cheapest to most expensive in this video. So this was the cheapest bikini I bought. It's this super pretty neon yellow, which is why I bought it. And that's the top. Let's see, I'm like in a squatting position right now. Please don't mind me. These are the bottoms. So super, super cute. It was like $6 for both pieces, so obviously I had to try it. And the thing that I was most concerned about was it getting here on time. It said seven to 10 business days and it actually got here in exactly a week from when I ordered it. So I was shocked. Um, for a website like that, I was expecting a couple months just based on what I'd heard. The other thing I was concerned about was sizing. So sizing with these websites can be a little bit weird, which is why reviews are very important. Before making my purchases, I looked very thoroughly into all of the reviews and the sizing recommendations that they included, specifically the ones with pictures, which is my top like recommendation for websites like this. And so it said that both of the bikinis I bought off of Shein ran true to size, and that's actually pretty true. They fit me really well and I have no complaints. Both of the quality is better than what I expected, and I will definitely be ordering from this website again. So check out what this one looks like on. The back is not as cheeky as I'm used to. It's kind of like a weird in-between cut, which I'm fine with, it's all right. Um, but that was really the only negative I have, which isn't even a negative. So I really like this. I'll definitely be wearing it and bringing it with me on my trip. here is arguably my favorite. This is the leopard print bikini. All of these are padded, I might add, because I have really small boobs and I kind of need all the help I can get. And then these are the bottoms, inside out. Let's see. Here they are. 
So super small, um, they're definitely a thong, but I like that style. So big fan of these, they're high legged, and I think this is just so cute and so flattering. So I'm really, really excited to wear this one, but check out what it looks like. Again, the quality is better than I could have asked for. I'm just really overall impressed and excited. ordered two Zaffle bikinis off of Amazon and I believe Zaffle and Shein are like the same website but surprisingly the quality of these two even though they were a little bit more expensive is just not as good um, I forgot to mention the leopard one was like 11 or 12 dollars I will double check and leave it below and then this red one was I think 15 so like just a little bit more and I really like it here's the top really cute like lacy detail on the back even though it's hard to put on and then again, the bottoms. This one is not as like stretchy and doesn't feel as nice as the other two. And that's kind of weird, especially because it was more expensive. The other problem with it is that it's not, it's, I don't know, not as stretchy and the top doesn't sit quite right. I still really like it. I'd give it like an eight out of 10. And I definitely think it was a good purchase. Again, it will be coming with me. So check out what it looks like for yourself. We've got this little yellow number that's I don't know if I'm holding it right I think it's inside out again padded this one was from Amazon this is back bottom back same thing it's got the little ruching detail on the back so it's super super cute I'm a big fan of this one again it does actually feel like swimsuit material so that's a big plus stretchy comfortable the top's adjustable which I thought was pretty cool so like if you look, the only thing holding it together is this tie. Like, it's not a fake tie. So you can tie it as tight as you want to, like, lift the girls up a little bit, which is nice. Or maybe show some under boob if you're into that. Um, it's really, I guess, customizable for your body type. So I definitely recommend this one. And I think it was $14. Again, I'll leave the actual number below because I should have checked and I didn't. two more things I'm really excited about. This one is a sun hat, which is not gonna look good with my current hairstyle, but how cute is that? It was five bucks, five dollars at Target. So, was in like the dollar section. Hello, can we look at the tag please? I mean, you get the idea, it's five dollars, but I just think that's so good, it's so exciting. Normally these hats are way more than five dollars. Can we focus back on me? I'm having so many issues today, what else is new? Um, so definitely super excited about this hat. I love it and five dollars like what a steal. Finally, we got this like short and top set from Zaffle or no, Shein, same thing, in a small, which I was really excited about. Everything I ordered was a small. Like I said, it ran true to size, so I was shocked. Amazon things, I got mediums and I'm happy I sized up and that was based on reviews. But Shein everything was a small, so small, the only thing is, this was in like a, this top was in a wicked cute bow online and I have no idea how the F to put it on. So I'm wearing sports bras, so I'm wearing a sports bra and leggings right now and I'm gonna just try to try this on. I don't know how it's gonna go. And you guys can actually tell me uh, what I'm doing wrong and maybe how to wear this top because I have no idea. So let's do that, let's see. I'm gonna look really dumb, but what else is new? All right, so we got these which are really cute if I weren't wearing pink leggings. And then this thing. So close this drawer right here. It's distracting. I have no idea how to put this on at all. So do I like tie it in the front? Like this is how it looked online, but I don't know. Like it's just, I don't think I don't think that's right. It just <laughs> doesn't look right to me. Or then we have the option of potentially 
putting it on this way and tying it in the back, which is definitely not what I saw online, but like if I were to tie that, is that better? Does that look right? I have no idea. Please help, SOS. But it's cute, I'm still happy and that was 13 bucks. All right, this has been another train wreck of a video on my YouTube channel. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Please, I don't know why my pinky's doing that. Give me a thumbs up and please hit that subscribe button so you never miss another one of these videos of me embarrassing myself. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.